Welcome back, scholars. You have now just went back over and read Roots to Feminism and completed your dirt quiz. We are now going to do planning and kind of review um, from yesterday's lesson. Scholars, for today's lesson, you will need the Egyptian roots of feminism, a sheet of paper, a pencil, distraction-free location, and go ahead and grab your notes from yesterday. If you have any questions, you can visit us in office hours today at 2.15. Remember, this is an opportunity for you to earn virtual kickboard points by visiting us in office hours. Scholars, we are one big learning family, all here to support, grow as learners, and make this virtual experience the best experience ever. So for our annotation and discussion prompt, it is the same discussion prompt from yesterday. It is great if you go ahead and write this discussion prompt down. What is the central idea of the article? Again, what is the central idea of the article? Support your answer with at least two details from the text. In today's lesson, scholars, we're going to focus on the central idea of the article, and then we're going to prepare and compose our ace response so that we are extremely successful in our independent and exit ticket. Again, scholars, our focus today is the central ideal of the article and finding two pieces of evidence or details from the article to support our claim. Just a quick recap from what we reviewed on yesterday. In front of you, you should have your T-chart. We identified seven key ideas. We went paragraph by paragraph, combining a few to find the key ideas of those paragraphs. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on a few of those key ideas so that we can better understand those ideas when we prepare to write our ACE response. So just a quick recap. Paragraph one talked about how ancient Egypt was much more ahead of time and valued women more than other ancient cultures. Paragraph two, we saw that women in ancient Greece were considered less important or less capable and were given fewer rights. Paragraphs three and four, we saw that Sparta gave women more rights um, and because of that, they were criticized by, Greek, uh, by the Greek men for doing so. Paragraphs five and seven, we see that ancient Egypt, Egyptian women had most had the most rights, including owning property and taking control of their personal lives. We start to see things change in paragraphs eight and nine because Egyptian women had the freedom to pursue different careers like being a doctor. Then in paragraphs 10 and 11, many ancient Egyptian women, um, however, were kept from having certain leadership roles. And then to end paragraph 12, we talked about the why. We um, discussed how did it help us understand or why did the uh, author write this article? And our response was that people could learn about gender equality by studying ancient Egypt. So scholars, again, we're gonna go in and hone in on a few of these key ideas so that when we write our ACE response, we have a pretty good understanding and ability to write a very strong ACE response. So scholars, that is the end of your review. Remember, have your notes from yesterday in front of you so that you don't have to rewrite this entire T-chart and be prepared to dive deep into each key idea so that we better understand the central idea of today's article. Scholars, meet me in the next video so that we can make this Friday even more fantastic.